In this intermediate PowerPoint tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add music to your PowerPoint presentations. And this could be music that's just played as background music, or it could be music that is more essential to the message of the PowerPoint. How would you add that music? I'll show you in this video. And the presentation that I have for this, you can see it's about eclipses. I made this PowerPoint in previous tutorials that I've made on PowerPoint. If you haven't watched those, you really should. Go back and watch them. But you can see if I go down and click the present show button, it's uh, deja vu all over again. there's a video, there's some text, some pictures, and information about the Viewmaster virtual reality kit. And there's some more text with a countdown timer. There's a question there with a timer bar. And again, if you want to learn how to do any of this, just watch my previous tutorials. But basically, that's the PowerPoint that I have. But I would like to have some music playing in the background to make it maybe more interesting to add some ambiance to the PowerPoint. To do this, I'm just going to go to the first slide on which I want the music to play. So in this case, slide number one. I just click and then I go to the insert tab, insert ribbon, and there in the media group is audio. And if I click on audio, you'll notice that it gives me a couple of options. I can record my own audio or I can bring in audio that's on my PC. And that's what I want to do in this case. So I click on it and it opens up a browser window for my computer so that I can navigate around and find the music that I want to use. In this case, it's inside a folder called Video Assets and Background Music, Royalty Free. I have a couple of songs to choose from. I'm going to go with this one. So I just double click on it, or I could have clicked and then selected Insert. But either way, you should get a little icon here on the screen. It looks like a speaker, and it's got a play button and some other buttons and options associated with it. So that little icon, that represents the music that I've just added to this slide. I'm going to pull it over here to the corner just so that it doesn't blend in with the color of the moon and I forget that I have that sound in this presentation. Now with this music icon selected, notice I get additional tabs here at the top of the screen, the audio tools tabs. I have a format tab and I have a playback tab. And with the case of audio, Usually, the playback tab, that's the one that's important. The first thing I want to do is I want to hide the icon during show. So while the PowerPoint is being presented, this icon here in the corner won't show up. I think that's a good choice. Next, here at the left, it says Start on Click. If you want, you can just say Start Automatically. It should just begin, for the most part, without much happening. Underneath that, notice it says play across slides. If I don't click this button, when I start the PowerPoint presentation, my music will play here on slide number one, but when slide number two comes up, the music will stop. And that might be what you want. Maybe you want a different background song for each slide. In my case though, I want the same song to play from slide to slide. So I'm gonna select automatically yes, but I want it to play across slides. Now, what if the slideshow takes longer than you expected? Do you want the music just to stop when the song ends, or do you want it to loop the song? So that might be a good option there, loop until stopped. If you want, you can also have it rewind the audio after playing. So all of those are some pretty good options that you'll want to use. There's also a volume option, and this is important, especially if you're playing a video like I am on slide two. I don't want my music to be louder or to interfere with the talking in my video on slide two. So I might need to come back and change the audio from high to medium or low, but I'll test it out first and see how it sounds. You can also, if you want, trim the audio, take out the ending or the beginning of the song. You can also fade in the music or fade it out. So some pretty good options we have here for music. So let's try it out. I'll go down to the lower right and click the slideshow button. Of course, I could also click slideshow from beginning, and I'll do that this time. As soon as I start the slideshow, the music starts. Now I'm ready for slide two, so I just tap the arrow. It's deja vu all over again. For the third time, my video plays. Skywatchers in the United States can see a total eclipse of the moon. And that may be a little bit too loud. And then I move on throughout my presentation.
So as you could hear throughout the presentation, the music plays in the background. So that's great. I did decide, though, that it is a little bit too loud. I was having some trouble hearing the narrator in the video on slide two. And so I'm going to click on the symbol for the song that I just added. I'll go up here to the Audio Tools Playback tab, and I'll select Volume and change it to Medium. That's probably going to be good enough. And then, of course, I could just test it out again. It's deja vu all over again. Okay, I'm happy with that. Sounds a lot better. So I hope you've enjoyed learning how to add background music to your PowerPoint presentations. I hope that you found it to be useful. If you have, please click the like button below and consider connecting with me on my social media websites like Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. And definitely do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students. And watch for another video from me at least every Monday. If you'd like to learn more about this ViewMaster Virtual Reality Starter Pack, please look in the description below. And if you'd like to support this YouTube channel, please consider becoming a patron of mine through my Patreon account, and you'll find information about that in the links below.